opening quarter, having five goals on the board before Hawthorne had scored, but the Hawks pulled back well in the latter stages of the term, scoring three goals, and at quarter time, they trailed by only 11 points. The margin was even less when we pick up play now in the second quarter, Collingwood leading by three points as we go back to Prince's Park. Is oh, a shocking kick. A chance subsequently for Walsh. Pounces on it. On towards Fellows. He'll kick this one. No, he won't. Out of bounds. Well, he had every chance there, Fellows, and put it out on the full. Green decides to give it to Gary Ayres for the kick in. Let's see if Ayres can do a little bit better this time. He's gone for the bounce. That's a better kick. Tuck in the middle. Can't take the mark. Williams going through very solidly for Collingwood onto Parkinghorn. Shaw is there. Meets the ball well. Morewood and Mew. More too long for Bacanara. Pouncing on it as Parkinghorn. Back towards centre wing. Cloak is there. Doesn't read it as well as he might have. Brereton. Long handball to one of Hawthorne's best in Michael Tuck and a towering punt kick again from Tuck. Well, McCarthy almost completed the grab. Toomey's there. Matthews, Knights. Gets past Taylor. Calling forward as Bacanara. Knights will have a shot. And a goal. Hawthorne in front for the first time. Well, Knights on the boundary line had every confidence in that kick and Hawthorne lead. 6 9 45 to 6 6 42. Well, we're just over the 12-minute mark, and they've bounced back in uh, business as we predicted. We see McCarthy nearly grab that mark. Toomey fumbled, and this allows Knights to get around his opponent pretty well. And, of course, that's a magnificent shot by the blonde uh, centre-half forward for Hawthorne. Centre bounce again. The Hawks are in front, knocked out of Richardson by Clark. He runs into trouble. DP at America. That's the understatement of the year when you're back into him. I'll tell you that now. We'd like walking into a wall. But they've got him playing on the wing, doing a pretty good job on Ricky Barrow at the moment. They've come right back to the field, the Magpies, as Knights tries to break out the back. He's slung. A hand pass by Ian Ear. That finally comes back to Buccaneer. It's pushed out again to Payton. Plenty of uh, punching going on. Great play by uh, Knights. Over to Tuck. And they're back in business again. Oh, there's a good defensive mark in front of Matthews that time by Taylor. He's got a difficult job trying to stop Lethal Lee, too, as the ball goes back there. Oh, there's Walsh. It'll be a free kick against him. It'll go to Shield. Not playing well at all today, that young fella. It's the worst game I've seen him play all year. Short pass and a good one, and a chance now for Hawthorne to go further in front. Rain pretty persistent, too. It's not heavy, but it's a fairly substantial shower, this one. Buckingham about 50 metres out, yet to score a goal. And, of course, Hawthorne in front by three points at the moment. This will put him nine points if he's successful, kicking seven goals last Tuesday, so he should be on target. No, he's not. He's off target, and it's through for a point. So Hawthorne wasting plenty of chances. Six goals, 10-46. To Collingwood, 6-6-42. Buccanara's kicked three points, Lou. Well, that's most unlikely because he's a very accurate kick. Well, this is a tough game, and as we said before, a capacity. Well, there's the crowd and a capacity crowd today. Well over the 30,000 mark, I would say. Noted about the Magpies. They certainly draw people. Jimmy got his hands to it. Coming out of the Packers' range. He's been a little quieter this quarter. Over it goes to Walsh, still can't pick it up. He's having a dirty day. Finally, he's got it now. He's slapped to the ground by, uh, by uh, Brereton. And Wallace. Plenty of fumbling. It's Wallace's kick is smothered by Toomey. Now Toomey gets a hand pass to Phillips. Phillips with a hand pass out wide there to Burn. It's too long. There, oh, it's got him around the neck. It'll be a free kick to DP at a minute ago. And did he mean business when he went after that one? And DP at a minute goes. Kick is up there into the goal square. The players set themselves. Punched out by Knights. It's Tuck and Taylor. Taylor goes down. A good hand pass. Beautiful play by Cluck. Over to Byrne. The kick comes out wide. There's a chance now uh, for an ear. In goes uh, Morwood. He's put off balance by Ayers. Umpire call play on. Kicked off the ground by Shields. Back to Mew. Over to Kennedy. And Hawthorne. Oh, that's a great mark. He's called play on. In comes Dacos. And there's the champ scooting around. Beautiful play by Dacos. Goes for a pass to Weed and he's got the mark. It'll be a free kick at any time. Well, that's the only thing Mew could do because he had no hope of stopping him. And he sort of marked it. Peyton back earlier, Luke. Surprised he didn't play that one. Well, we see the uh, kick, a short one to Wiedemann, and the mark taken here by Anir, about uh, 40 metres out from goal. Well, Collingwood trailing at the moment. After off to a great start, they'd kicked five goals uh, before Hawthorne kicked their first. But now they're back to the field with the Hawks in front. Kicked by Anir. Not a good one. Doesn't even make the distance. And it's finally tapped through and through for one point. So the difference now is two points, or three points. 
Six goals, 10.46. Hawthorne to Collingwood, 6.7.43. And...